One of the most important steps to creating your assemblies is mating your parts into place. So let's take a moment to discuss the basics of mates in Onshape. Onshape uses a higher level system of mates which is a bit different than what you may have experienced in the past. In a more traditional CAD system, you define each degree of freedom manually one at a time by clicking faces. With Onshape, we've taken a different approach that eliminates the need to create several mates just to define one part's location. And the key to this new approach is the mate connector. Think of a mate connector as a specific point on a part that has complete knowledge of its orientation and position. In on shape, when you choose any mate from the toolbar and move your cursor over the part you want to mate, you will see all the mate connection points appear for that part. These points are common points of attachment based on the type of geometry that you are hovering over. If you look closely, you will see a coordinate system for each mate connector. This coordinate system has an X, Y, and Z axis and is how Onshape knows how to position the part when mating it. In Onshape, to mate two parts together, we simply select a mate connection point from one part by left-clicking it, then select a mate connection point from another part, again by left-clicking it, and Onshape brings those two parts together. The orientation of parts is determined by the coordinate systems associated with each part's mate connector. You can flip the primary axis of the mate by clicking Flip Primary Axis, and you can rotate the secondary axis of the mate in 90 degree increments by clicking Reorient Secondary Axis. The movement between your parts is determined by the type of mate you choose. Many mate types allow limits to be defined. These limits restrict the range of motion associated with the respective mate. If limits have been defined for a mate, the limit icon is displayed next to the mate in the list. We'll be discussing the various mate types and examples where you would use them in the future. But a quick tip when getting started is you can change the mate type while in the mate command, and you can even animate the degrees of freedom for that mate. This makes it easy to try out different mates and see what kind of motion they allow.